It is a difficult question that few like to answer. What should be done with your body once you've passed? Well, now some are taking a fresh approach to the way we lay our loved ones to rest. Our Itai Hot explores the growing trend of forest burials. Under the emerald embrace of ancient redwoods, Janet Rohr and her family found a final resting place for their loved ones. The location is as much about life as it is about death. I've been to many funerals, and those are often very somber affairs. And for me, this is just joy. Today, Janet is saying goodbye to three of her family members, her parents, Eugene and Barbara Brown, and her brother, Matthew, a firefighter who cherished the outdoors. When I have moved beyond you. Which is why instead of a gravestone or a mausoleum, the Rohr family opted for a living, breathing tree, a growing trend among those looking for a more eco-friendly funeral. Knowing my family will be here helps me to just feel a lot of peace about them being here, um, enriching the forest and returning to nature. As part of a ceremony, the ashes are mixed with local soil and spread at the base of a chosen redwood. A plaque is then affixed with the names of the deceased. Redwoods in particular are iconic. They can live to be 2,000 years old. Jillian Nye is a manager at Better Place Forest, a San Francisco-based company that's trying to make a different kind of cemetery. Why choose a tree? I think people choose a tree because they want to be part of a living ecosystem. It's a way of living on. The company has been buying up forests across the country and arranging conservation easements to prevent the land from ever being developed. Customers claim the tree in perpetuity. The cost, starting at about $6,000, varies depending on the tree's species, size, and location. But for Janet, the selling point was being able to visit her loved ones in a joyful setting. Leaving mom and dad and my brother here feels um, so connected. I know. Transforming grief into growth and loss into life. Better Place operates five memorial forests in California, including the Santa Cruz Mountains that Etai visited. One is up in Point Arena. Two others are in the Sierra. There's also a spot down south near Lake Arrowhead and five locations in other states.